Not his f***ing mic. Since he want to be f***ing dumb. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we are going to be getting into Now That's TV, baby. Young and Reckless to be exact. Now y'all know. <laughs> I don't even care for now that's TV like that. Like I pay, I keep paying my monthly subscription because one, I really just want to support. And two, I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I be wanting to give them a chance. So I continue to give them a chance and I watch this show and I'm telling y'all, oh baby, I don't know if it's, it's if it's the little uh, first episode jitters, but baby, when I tell you this episode had me turned from start to finish, baby, I was tuned in. So we're going to get into it. I love this show, okay? And also keep a lookout today also for my Deja Vu reunion recap. I know it's late, but it's better late than never, ho. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video, it's Messy Maya, it's the Messy Mob Girl. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that, and yeah, let's get into it. Ciao. So the episode starts off, and it immediately is T. Who are editing the child? The editing is top, top tier, baby. The editing is top tier. So, okay, so the episode pretty much opens, and then we get hit with basically the open fight. I'm a girl's girl, but bitch, I can get down. It's not about winning, losing. It's about my motherfucking respect. Don't be acting like you don't know who the fuck I am, because you know exactly who the fuck I am. Y'all, so right after the opening fight, baby, we get a little scene with Naj, and she is sitting real pretty getting her makeup done, basically telling us what she's going to bring to the show. And I'm like, girl, okay. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love me some Naj, y'all. I really do. Sometimes she be getting on my nerves, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like for the most part, she stands... She stands on 10, baby. She stands on 10. She knows how to get down. I feel like she's real. And I just like her. But I feel like I swear to y'all, every single show that she gets on, she looks better and better and better. Like, she looks better every single time I see her. And I love that for her, baby. She looks so good. Like, the way she looked right here is the way I was hoping E.T. would kind of go and look on baddies. But... It didn't happen that way, but it's okay, though. Naj, girl, you look good right here, child. The whole episode, Naj was just eating the girls up. I was, I'm not going to say I was surprised, but I'm like, damn. Ooh, I thought she was cute. Okay, child, so they basically, Ferrari and Naj, after Naj gets her makeup done, she goes to the look. Now that's TV headquarters, I guess, I'm guessing to sign their contracts, talk to the CEO, this, that, and the third, baby. Her and Ferrari are talking. I'm finna do my big one. Yeah, I'm finna do my big one. Girl, congratulations on your new show, this, that, and the third. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know that Naj was like, uh, I don't want to say like a girl's girl, but she was really nice to Ferrari. She was like, like genuinely happy for her. Like, girl, congratulations, this, that, and the third. Yeah. Anyways, so shortly after this, the CEO basically shut it all down, baby, because he had to talk to both of them about some things. Let's get into it. So honestly, he just looked tired and fed up with both of their asses. I'm like, well, damn. So he turns over to Naj and he's like, like, girl, you cannot keep being late. This, that, and the third. Like, it just shows that you don't give a damn about our time and what we got going on. He was like, there's been times where I literally stayed up all night and still had to get up in the morning to go to meetings and stuff. And Naja, you know, she took it in. She, I'm like, she's like, okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm a, if, if, if I want them to start respecting me more and treating me like a big dog, I got to act like a big dog and just, you know, take it in. And listen, she was, I'm like, oh my God, I love this for Naj. I'm like, who is this? I love it. Anyways, so he then turns to Ferrari and baby, this is the gag. <laughs> this is the gag. So he turns to Ferrari and he basically is talking to her about like her acting like a little baby and throwing tip attention since that a third acting like a little spoiled brat, right? Okay, cool. Blah, 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 blah. We don't care about it. We don't give a damn about that. Anyways, so then he gets into a curveball, bitch. <laughs> he said, baby, your spot is not secured. I feel like y'all heads get too big. Y'all get too cocky. So I'm throwing a curveball at you. Yeah, your spot is not secured on the show. You're hosting this season, but the winner of this season is going to host the next season. That is the winner's, you know, the little winner's gift or whatever. The winner of the show this season is going to host next season and you will no longer be the host, baby. I'm like, what? See here now that's TV. See that now that's TV. That's why sometimes I can't get down with y'all because I feel like y'all be doing some real shady stuff. Because what? 
You telling me you going you got you gonna pump this girl head up? She all on social media talking about something. Yeah, my show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, that, the third talking about something. Yeah, this is my show. This is my ish. Da 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 da. Woke up to my show, and then her spot is not even secure. Like he literally told her, like literally, if you don't do your big one this season, you will not be coming back. Or if one of the girls outshine you, you will not be coming back. So this is my thing, right? It's like, at what point, okay, no, not at one point, but it's like, I wonder what Ferrari's thinking. Because think about it, okay? If the girls don't, because I'm pretty sure she wants the girls to do their big one, because they have to, or else her show would be boring. You know, the cast is what holds the show together. Like, if your cast is boring, unfortunately, the show is going to be boring. The host can only do so much, right? Right. Okay. That's, that's kind of how I feel about Jocelyn's Cabaret, but let's move on. So I feel like the host can only do so much. If you have a boring cast, your show is going to end up being boring and falling flat. But it's like, where's the fine line? Like, because if technically she's in competition with her girls, d- does she not still, like, does she not want the girls to outshine her? Or does she still want the girls to shine and do their thing and do their big one? But it's like, damn. It's like, damn, like, if they outshine me, I want them to do their big one because, of course, I don't want the show to be boring. Like, I want the show to be number one on the network. But it's like, damn, if they outshine me, then they go going to take my spot. I don't know. It's just crazy. I don't know. He definitely threw a curveball, though. I'm like, baby, like, uh, I don't know. I don't think I like that very much. I don't think, I think it's weird. Like, if you, even if she didn't originally come to the network with the idea, it's like you pumped this girl's head up this entire time, baby, to feel like it was her show. And then on the first episode, you're going to throw a curveball like, yeah, this is not your show, bitch. Like, if you literally, if one of these girls outshine you, you're literally, it's not going to be your show anymore. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. But Ferrari girl, I kind of feel like that's karma a little bit, child. And, and you know why. Yeah, I feel like it is. Anyways, I'm surprised that they even gave you your own show in the first place. Like, first of all, let's get really, let's really get into it real quick. Me personally... I don't think Ferrari is the worst person to come to Now That's TV. And I know that she was technically an original original. Okay, because she was on the original Big Lex Baddies collection. But my thing is, is I don't really think of Ferrari as iconic. Like, I can name a couple more iconic girls other than Ferrari. But Ferrari got handed the opportunity, which is like, congratulations to you. But it's like, baby, I can name a few times where you fell flat, baby. Just like when you jumped in the key, you fell flat. I'm surprised they gave you your own show after that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, now that TV can be a little grimy. So it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? What else? Baby, you you came on season two a bit less baddest collection as one of the OGs. And you literally got ran up out the house by a new bitch. And... Mia Kaya, Big Lex's uh, sister, punched you in your shit, and you ain't do nothing. You they, you literally let them new girls run you up out the house. That's I'm trying to figure out, like, <laughs> how the hell she got this show in the first place. You were on the mat. You bent over. Queen said you were staying. Like, it's just so many things that, like, it's like, damn, like, out of all people, you got your own show. But I don't know. I feel like she's killing it so far as the host, child. Let's move on. Okay, child, so they go back to the house, and Ferragamo... Cuzzo and Sav are the first three to come into the house. So, baby, it don't take a genius to see. <laughs> baby, it don't take a genius to see that Cuzzo is clearly separating herself from the other two girls, Sav and Ferragamo, baby. The girl is, um, they're all in the same vicinity, but Cuzzo is, like, basically off to the side. You you can tell, like, she she's real quiet and standoffish, okay? And I'm like, okay, so it don't take a dummy to realize that you're about to fight. <laughs> or or you're expecting the worst to happen, baby. Because she was not trying to, child, she was not trying to kumbaya, get to know the girls. Hey, my name is Cuzzo, this, that, and the third, baby. No, she was ready to get down. So, girl, Shay Benz come into the house. And when I tell you, this girl done shook-ish up. But when I seen her, I'm like, okay, this is why I need to stop judging the book by the cover. Because I'm like, child, she long, skinny, cute, tall, it's giving model, baby. She real cute. I'm like, this girl is not going to fight. <laughs> girl, was I wrong? Child, this girl done signed her little contract, <laughs> went up the stairs, seen Cuzzo. Cuzzo told her, baby. I don't even want, I don't even know why you're going upstairs, child, because you already know what it is. You was talking all that is on social media, baby. Let's go ahead and get into it. But then Shay Vance was like, girl, I need to get ready to fight. I cannot fight like this, which I don't blame her because she was looking real cute. 
Real cute. It's like, girl, you ended up doing all of that getting ready just for you to end up wigless, baby. Like, <laughs> just to end up wigless. Chow and Cuzzo ain't look no better, but it's like, baby, Cuzzo won that fight. If I had to choose, she won. She won. But you stood on all 10 Shea Bands. I love that for you. I don't like no punk ass hoe. Honestly, to me, it really don't matter if you win or lose. Like, as long as, as long as you stand on all 10, to be honest, and don't be no punk ass hoe. That's all I care about. Me personally, child. And child, we all knew Cuzzo wasn't going to lose that fight anyway, girl. What's new? She won. Again. Bro, come on, come on, nigga. You been popping that shit on the internet. Let it go. Cool it. Let it go. She need to let it go. I'm, I'm not about to get rang up on. If she gonna let it go, I'll let it go. But she the one that was popping. I'm just saying, hold on. I'm like, she'll get her like. Come on. So, baby, we can introduce the Ivory child, okay? So, I already knew Ivory from Baddies of Las Vegas child, whatever that show was called. But it was a throwback show. But I still watched that, baby, when she initially made her debut on Now That's TV. And then South Central Baddies. So, I already know how she give it up. So, I'm like, child, they done brought Ivory on the show, girl. She gonna shake it up. I already knew it, child. We already know how Ivory is at this point, baby. And I'm not gonna lie. I always wanted to say this, but I never said this out loud. Only thought it in my head. Do, I feel like Ivory's voice does not match her appearance. <laughs> Even the fact that Ivory is 20 years old. Like, baby, you're 20? <laughs> baby, I'm 23 and she look, and it's clearly it's not that big of a difference. Especially because she turned 21 uh, this year, of course. So, technically, we're only two years apart, not three years apart. But, baby, you just don't look like you're 21, 20. Like, you just don't. <laughs> Oh my goodness, baby. Girl. Anyways, but not only that, but I just feel like Ivory's voice does not match her appearance at all. Like her voice don't match her appearance. Her appearance, um, I'm sorry, her voice don't match them hands. It's just like she has such like a, she has this little voice. This little voice, but like this strong personality and like this, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like she just don't, she just don't look the way she speaks. She don't look the way she sounds. That's all I'm saying, child. Like her voice throw me off guard every single time she talked because I'm like, damn, that little voice is coming out this big back big body like damn so ivory was on the bus with ferrari and Naj, baby and they were turning up i was here for it i like this little scene anyway so they get off the bus they go into the house the girls of course are excited to see them Naj is turning up speaking into the camera child y'all know how she give it up child just extra sometimes but i i was here for it girl so as soon as Ferrari walks into the house, Chow, she is hit with the news that basically Cuzzo and Shay Benz got into it, baby. So she's like, first of all, why was y'all fighting without me here? <laughs> like, it wasn't giving that she was mad that they were fighting. It was giving that she was mad because they didn't wait till she got there first, Chow. I was like, girl, that is me because y'all really could have waited until I got there because I want to see. Anyways, so Ferrari was like, well, who won? They was like, Cuzzo definitely won that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree. Do y'all feel like Cuzzo won? Let me know. Okay, so after this, we get introduced to Cass and we get introduced to Charmaine, Chow. I keep saying Charlemagne. I don't know why, but it's Charmaine, not Charlemagne. So they were leaving their hotel, getting into the Sprinter and on the way to the house. Honestly, from this little clip and scene alone, I felt like they were cool. For the most part, didn't seem problematic. Didn't seem like they were going to be doing too much. But we'll see what they give later in the season. But my first impression is I feel like they're okay. So we get introduced to Pink Bonnet. Pink Bonnet says she has issue with the other girl on the bus who is on the way now i'm like girl this is gonna be messy she ends up giving ferrari a gift as kissing child i'm just like child <laughs> it was still sweet though so baby then we get introduced to legacy i'm like she is so cute they got the model type girls this season baby i was into it i'm like she is too cute too pretty Oh my goodness. I, it's like the pretty, pretty girls. I know it's just going to hurt me every single time they fight, child. But let's get into it. So when Legacy comes in, Legacy got the stuck face, baby. She has her resting bitch face on. 
But then Ferrari pulls her to the side and she's like, like, girl, what's wrong? Like, what's tea? Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And she's like, girl, the girls has been talking online and I just got some, I got some issues to address. You know what I'm saying? So she was real standoffish too. It was giving when Cuzzo first came into the house. That's exactly how she was acting. She really didn't want to talk to nobody like that. She was to herself, just waiting on her up to come to the house. Legacy has beef with two girls on the bus, her and her. Chow, it's a mess. Chow, so it gets even messier. So the girls go outside and they're kumbaya and they're talking this, that, and the third. And Ivory jumps down from where she was and she's like, y'all are boring. What are y'all doing? Like, y'all hosts need to entertain me like now. And I'm like, okay, so... Your age is definitely starting to show. But the gag is, is that you're not, you're, you're acting like a teenager. You're not acting like your age. But you're, at, you know what I'm saying? She's supposedly supposed to be one of the youngest girls in the house. Baby, now, now I'm starting to see it though. I'm starting to see it though. You may not look like it, but I'm starting to see it a little bit, child. Anyways, let's get into what she had to say to the girls. You're getting kind of boring. You're getting very boring. boring. You got beat up and you're still boring. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What you I don't know. Do a so we all in the backyard. We all smoking, chilling. They just standing right by each other, just smiling and just, I'm like, did y'all not just fight like 20 minutes ago? I know you bitches is not standing right here like smiling, like y'all giving boring. So chow, they go back into the house and Ivory is still talking. I'm like, okay, Ivory girl, like we get it. We get your point. You feel like some of the girls are boring, but Ivory is like to the point where she's like, bitch, I'm going to make y'all not be boring. You know what I'm saying? So one of the girls was like, when Ivory was confronting them again, she was like, baby, nobody has stepped on my toes yet. So I'm not finna sit here and fight for no reason. Like nobody has stepped on my toes. So Ivory takes it upon herself and she's like, well, do you need me to step on your toes? And she just keeps going on and on and on and on. Like Ivory girl, I like you and I know what you're about at this point. So honestly, none of this is surprising. But it's like, damn, like you around a bunch of pretty girls at this point. Like, girl, you're not around the gutter butts anymore, girl. You need to learn how to have a lit ch I mean, child, I'm not even gonna say a little bit of class because you know, at the end of the day, child, we know what they were brought onto the show to do. But it's like, girl, it's the first day. Like, you literally ain't even been in the house for an hour yet, and you already trying to get underneath somebody's skin, trying to be low-key but high key a bully, but trying to antagonize people like girl. Shut up. Shut your big bag ass up, baby. Like, I cannot stand girls that make fighting their entire personality. Like, like Ivory, we know you can fight. Like, baby, we we know. We know that you can fight, but she do too much talking for me. Like, baby, shut the hell up. But low-key, but high-key, although she was getting on my nerves a little bit, I was there for the mess. Like, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I was there for the mess. I'm not gonna lie. So let me stop, child. Okay, child, so so while Ivory is still in these girls' faces trying to get them to come out of their shell, but not in a positive way, you know what I'm saying, child? She trying to low-key, but high-key antagonize them and stuff. The girl in the red, okay, Miss Legacy, baby, she is sitting there plotting, child. Just look at the way she was looking at that girl. She was plotting, baby, and she ended up, when Ivory turned around, she ended up getting up and throwing her juice at her. Juice, uh, I don't know what was in that cup, child. But she ended up throwing the liquid on Ivory and they started to get down. I'm not going to lie. Of course, Ivory won, child. We, like, come on. Like, what's new? Ivory won. Ivory knows how to get down. But I will commend Legacy, baby. You ain't no punk. I love that for you. I love it for you because one thing about it, two things for sure. Legacy said, baby, y'all is not finna bully me in this house. Period. So after those couple rounds with Legacy and Ivory, baby, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's not funny, but it was so random. So Ivory takes it upon herself again to out of nowhere, just sneak a uh, shave ass. Like, girl, uh, Shay Vans was sitting on the couch minding her business. She had nothing to do with this argument or conversation. And Ivory just took it upon herself to just beat the girl up too. I'm like, first of all, what did Shay Vans do? Shay Vans was just sitting there. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ivory. Child, Shay Vans was so defeated. She didn't even try to defend herself, fight back, nothing, baby. She was over it, girl. She took her wig and went. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to lie. Shea Bans, girl, you messed up. I'm not going to lie because your best bet was to either get your lip back or defend yourself because now I feel like they are not going to like you in that house because they're going to think that you a little punk. And they're going to they gonna either uh, try to run you out or they're going to try to punk you some more. Child, you should have defended yourself, especially uh, after all that issue was talking online. 
Child, it's a mess. It's a mess. The show is a mess, but I like it. So another group of girls make it to the house. And the okay, so the light skinned one with the side ponytail with the little side swoop ponytail um on the right, child. The one of the girls want to fight her. So she already knew what time it was. Literally, as soon as she got up to the door and heard all of the commotion, she asked one of her little friends to hold her bag. She came into the house and they got to fight. And baby, they got down. Okay. They got down. <laughs> the girl jumped on the couch, ran up on her and they got down and the episode ended right there. But that's all I have for y'all today. Like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell. Y'all, I really like this show, okay? So I really could see myself, you know, doing a weekly recaps of the show. I absolutely love it so far. It was a mess. I actually might just rewatch it right now. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the show, the episode, and the recap. I'm out this hoe. Bye!